What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to download and set up Park Control the right way to help improve your system's performance, reduce CPU parking, and keep your PC running more efficiently, especially during gaming or high-load tasks. So without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to the description of this video, where I've included all the links and commands you're going to need. Once you're there, click on the link that takes you to the official Bitsum website. That's the developer behind Park Control. When you land on the page, scroll down until you find the download button for Park Control. Go ahead and download the installer and run it. Once installed, just open it up. If you get a pop-up from Windows asking for permission, just click yes. Now that you've got Park Control open, you should see a simple but powerful interface with options for different power settings. Here's what you want to configure. Make sure plugged in settings are selected if you're on a desktop. Turn off CPU parking and frequency scaling. Set the minimum and maximum processor state to 100%. This keeps your CPU cores fully active when you need them. If you're on a laptop, you may want to leave these battery settings at default or tweak them for better battery life. But for desktop users, or if you're always plugged in, 100% is recommended for best performance. Next, make sure these two options are checked. Bitsum Dynamic Boost enables performance adjustments under load. Show Power Plan Change Notifications, optional, but helpful for knowing when your plan changes. Now here's where we take it a step further. If you don't already see Ultimate Performance in the Power Plan drop-down menu inside Park Control, no worries. I've got you covered. Here's how to unlock it. Open Command Prompt as Administrator. Just type CMD in your Start menu, right-click, and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt window, copy and paste the command I've left in the description. Hit Enter and you should get a confirmation message that Ultimate Performance is now available. If it doesn't show up right away in Park Control, just restart your PC and open it again. You should now see Ultimate Performance listed in the drop-down menu. Once you do, select Ultimate Performance, click Make Active, hit Apply. You'll now notice all your CPU cores are active. None of them are grayed out or sleeping, which is what we want. If you switch to something like Power Saver, you'll see several cores become inactive. But on Ultimate Performance, they're fully engaged and ready for action. Quick tip! You can easily change power plans by right-clicking the Part Control icon in your system tray. From there, just switch between Power Saver, Balanced, and Ultimate Performance in one click. But ideally, you'll want to stay on Ultimate Performance for gaming or demanding tasks. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on more performance tips, tweaks, and gaming tools. Thanks for watching, and as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.